so 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 and grow 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 guys so today we are going to be pruning a peach tree and the peach tree that we are going to be pruning is the bella georgia peach tree now you know guys you have to prune your fruit trees if you don't prune them they will just grow crazy on you and i'm in a small space so i have to prune my trees to keep them at a minimum i'll okay. just say this if you are new to my channel, I want to thank you very much. And if you are old to my channel, guess what, guys? Boom! Thanks for coming back to this channel. All right, guys, so we're going to be pruning some peach trees. The Bella Peach. So, guys, today we're going to be pruning a peach tree, guys. And this peach tree is a Bella Georgia peach tree, okay? So, you want to make sure that your peach trees or any other type of tree, especially when it's a fruiting tree because how heavy the fruit is, that your limbs are very strong and healthy. And why do we prune young tree, fruit trees? To keep them intact, okay? Because I don't want them so tall that I cannot ship them in the truck that I'm gonna be taking them when I move down south, okay? And I don't want them so wide at the base that I can't lift them. So I have to keep them contained and I have to keep them prune to a minimum and so that's what I've been doing and it's good to start them off young so it's training your trees what you want your tree to do okay defy your mother nature but we're not going to do that okay but we're just trying to keep her to a minimum because of the small space that I have all right guys um so as you can see I changed a lot of things around and I will be bringing you guys a tour of my uh, mini orchard culture very soon okay very very soon so you guys are ready for this uh pruning of the bella georgia peach all right guys before we get started on pruning this peach tree i just want you to see what the bella georgia peach tree looks like that i purchased from lowe's for 24.99 here is her tag it's just upside downwards but that's her tag and that's what she's looking like down there. She looks really, really good. Really, really good. Okay. So I just want to take you around her so you guys can see what she looks like. And then I'm going to show you some things that needs to be pruned off her and why. Okay. So that's what she's looking like right now. All right, guys, so we have three different tools we're going to be using today. We might have to use today. Don't forget to sterilize the tools over and over and make sure they're clean. All right, I have some loppers. I have my pruners here, and I have some shears here. All right, so we're going to use these. We might not need to use these, but we're going to try to use these. All right, that's good stuff. First thing, we're going to look for anything that's dead, dying, or just done. All right, <laughs> so um, anything old. Like this old wood that's burnt out and really, really dry that could just snap off. You just want to prune that out, all right? But anything that's coming into the canopy of your peach tree. Okay, guys, you already know I live in the city. So you're going to hear all kind of city noise, all right? So get used to it, all right? Until I move in a couple of years, all right? So anyway, like I said, you want to make sure your, your uh, trees are always pruned definitely on the inside of your canopy so your canopy of your tree can get that nice sun and air it needs to flow through your tree and give you the best production, hopefully. All right? So, so far right now, was these here? <laughs> Um, so right now inside the tree what I'm seeing I don't see any dead, dead any anything dead or you know disgusting looking or just done so it looks really pretty healthy I mean so the first thing I see for matter of fact we're gonna start at the bottom of the tree the base of the tree um, I don't want this part here so I'm definitely gonna be doing that one there we're just gonna prune it off at the bottom there I want this all nice and clean there we go boom okay and we have one on the side also. Always cut at a 45 degree. Now here, you want for a peach tree, you want that beautiful, like almost vase type of shape. So you don't want it to be sticking out this way or straight shooting, shooting straight up. You want it to come out nicely and form. Like this is almost a nice, nice, a nice nice prune tree already but i need to do some pruning to it to help flourish it some more so yeah i yes i do prune my trees at a young age and yes you can do that you guys need to follow like um, uh, um edge of nowhere farm dave 
Wilson Nursery. Excellent. Excellent. Follow those channels, guys. You won't be sorry. All right. So, yeah. Um, so this is where I'm going to cut this right here because it's going in the inside and I don't want that to be going inside of my tree. So we're going to cut that to 45. Boom. Already she's looking nice. And anything that you want, you see that's in the inside of here, you want to just go ahead and prune down. All right. So I see this here on the inside. Boom. This here. This is dead. Boom. All right. Here. Let me let me show you guys what I'm talking about from the inside. All right, guys. So this is the inside of the canopy here, right? Your inside. See this the inside. Nice. I do like this structure here. Okay. So the inside right here, as you can see, all this extra foliage right here. This can come out. That's on the inside, and it's just blocking the sun from getting inside here. Okay. So we're gonna be cutting that part there. Okay. So we're just gonna. 45 always boom nice and clean all right guys so that's what you want to do you want to always make sure the inside is clean like also with this one here this one could come out that's from the inside so i'm gonna do a 45 also i'm gonna do it upwards because i can't cut that way so boom all right so we got that and then you want to make sure that your your branches are really nice and sturdy because you want to make sure that the fruit can handle it I mean, this, um, your uh, branches can handle your fruit, okay? This looks good up here, nice and cut. Okay, I'm trying to keep them to a minimum, no more than six feet for me, because I'm 4'11", so I'm a shorty, so I want to make sure there's no more than six feet. All right, so we, let's look at that branch. How does that look to you? I love how this is coming out. This is coming up nicely, nicely. All right, so... Let's look in this one here. This one here could be cut. It's on the inside. Boom, nice cut. Okay, guys. So that was on the inside. And pretty much this tree is pretty much done. So now we have this one here too. And this is on the inside of the tree, as you can see. Inside, right? Then the outside, see how that is? So we don't want the inside, okay? So we're just gonna prune that. So let me, there we go. Let me come right here. And we're gonna cut 45, nice and clean, boom. See that? All right, perfect. All right. We're just gonna, I know, I'm just gonna keep these on. Got some buds on there. So we're gonna keep those on, see what they do. But she looks really, really good. Really, really good. Really, really good. Um. She just looked like she's on the inside, too. And remember, fruit grows on old wood, so you don't have to worry about cutting a new one. There we go. And I'm just going to clean her. Boom. Just like that, guys. All right? Don't be scared to cut, prune your trees. They're your trees. Don't let anybody say you can't do this or do that. Do your research first, guys. Always do your research. Okay? There's so many, and there's a lot of keywords out here to use on YouTube. You have to know the keywords to use. If you want to learn how to prune a young tree, the keyword is young. Put it in young fruit tree. Put it in, and then whatever tree that you're trying to prune or take care of, put it in there on YouTube. And I bet you you'll find them. And you'll find a lot more YouTubers, and then hopefully they're not new subscribers. So she's looking, looking, looking marvelous. And I'm going to cut this one off too. I don't want it down so far. I love the structure already. I'm just going to keep three main branches. You know, some people keep two or three. It's up to you, but I'm going to keep three. So I'm going to keep this one here. Very nice. I'll definitely keep this one here. Very nice. And definitely also keep that one. Very nice. And we're just going to cut her off. All right, guys. So we're just going to see if I can come up on the, there we go, 45, mm, there we go. All right, guys, so that's what we're going to do. We just want to make sure that we get the all cleaned up. So that is how you prune a beautiful, beautiful tree. And this is the Bella Peach, Bell of Georgia Peach. I'm sorry, but that's what that is, guys beautiful so i am finished pruning her 
And we don't have anything else left for her. All right, guys? And remember, guys, let's grow together so we can eat together.